All right, to start off, we're going to open up Touch OSC Editor. This is what the interface on the phone is actually going to look like. Go ahead and right click and go to a vertical fader and then resize it however you want. We're going to have three of them, so copy paste that one. And then we're going to go ahead and color code each of them to match up with the color of the LED that they're going to control. Then we're going to go ahead and rename each of them. You'll uh, need to know these names for later, it doesn't matter what it is. And then we're going to change the range of the fader from 0 to 255. That's the range that processing will see when it's mixing the colors. Go ahead and add a label for each of them. And then we're going to invert each of the faders so that 0 is at the bottom and 255 is at the top. Then save it again. And then we're going to sync it with the phone. So just click the sync, follow those directions. Pretty easy. If you're having problems, just make sure that you're on the same Wi Fi. You don't want to uh, have any sort of firewall blocking your sync. This is what it looks like on the phone. Once they're connected to the same network, you just open up Torch OSC and go through here. And it'll just add them in automatically. There's color mixer. And there you go. That's what the phone is going to look like. All right, for the next step, go ahead and open up a new processing sketch and create a setup and draw function. Setup is going to automatically execute when you run the program and draw is just going to loop over and over. And it's just how the processing sketch is set up. Size is going to be 320 by 480. It'll look like a phone. There we go. We're going to go ahead and create our three color variables. And then we're going to set the background equal to the mixture of the three colors red, green, and blue. So whatever value those have that's what the background is going to look like. In the uh, video I already had up I had a fourth bar but I just decided to do the background this time so I didn't have to program in another rectangle. So we're going to add the code for the rectangle next. We're going to have the stroke color be the color of the rectangle. So each, uh, each one is going to have its own color. And we're going to resize each of those and position them so that they look just like the phone interface.
So that's what it looks like so far. I didn't like the white fill, so I changed the fill color for the rectangles to black. Now we're going to add in an inner rectangle for each of them that's going to show where the slider is. And each of those is going to have another fill color that's going to match a grayish hue of whatever color it is. That negative 30 right there, that is the vertical height of each of the rectangles. All right, we're going to create an OSC object. Just import the library and then Create your object and instantiate it. That's just the port number that it's going to be talking to. You want to make sure on your phone it matches up as the port number that your phone is going out to. Create an OSC event object. Each time processing receives an OSC message. It's going to run this event. We're going to take the message and then get where it's coming from. That's going to go back to that red, green, and blue labels on the faders and then get the value from the fader. And if that address pattern is equal to red, we're going to set the red amount equal to that float value. And same goes for green and blue. There's the vertical height of the rectangles. We want that to match up to the color amount. It's negative because the start point for the rectangle is going to be the bottom of the circle, so it's going to be drawing the vertical height upward. And there's what it's looking like. Alright, here is the Arduino board. We've got a cable running to ground, and then cables running from the 11th pin, 10th pin, and 9th pin. Each of those pins we're going to be able to analog right to, so there's values are not just high or low. They're going to be between 0 and 255, so we can actually mix the colors together. And here is the environment board. We have power cables to each of the LEDs and 
They're each running in parallel with a resistor in line. All right, for the next step, we're going to install the Arduino library that we'll need for processing. So go to the Arduino website. Download that zip file from the processing playground. Then from your downloads, you're going to move it into your processing libraries folder and unzip it. That has the examples and the actual library. Let's so open up the Arduino IDE. And then from the examples, go ahead and open up the standard Fermata example. And then we're going to upload that to the Arduino. So make sure Arduino is plugged in, and then you have your correct serial port selected. All right, once that is successful, we're going to go ahead and flip back over to processing, import the Arduino library which is now in there and the serial import output library. That's going to allow us to write to the Arduino from inside processing. Create an Arduino object that we're going to be writing to and then instantiate that object. Alright, so once we have our object, we can write to the correct pins to change the colors. We're going to be doing an analog write, which allows us to do a value between 0 and 255 for uh, this processing sketch. We're going to write to the 11th pin red, 10th pin green, and then the 9th pin blue, just like we had our Arduino hooked up. And we're casting those as integers because that's what we want the Arduino to see. It won't take float values. Let's make sure that's all running. Still working. The phone is still working. And let's see what it looks like actually on the Arduino. So there's running on the phone and on the computer. And here's what the Arduino actually looks like. It's good to have something to defuse the color. It looks okay because the camera does that. But you'll want something, some sort of like, just put a piece of white paper over it or something that'll help diffuse the color a little bit. Because in person you can actually see the LEDs and the colors won't mix as well.